MotoGP careers. And um, yeah, this is episode 6 I believe. And I'm in P1 for the French Grand Prix around Le Mans. Um, the thing is, I've heard the AI are really slow around this track, even on hard and all. But I should not be getting pole on a slower bike by nearly a second. Especially in the Moto3 class. Look, everyone else is very close to each other. And then there's me on a 144.8. It's just ridiculous. But we're going to go into the race. And we're going to see if I can pull off that kind of pace in the race. I don't see it happening. But we can always hope for the best. But that's my first pole position. Or is it actually? I might have got pole... No, I got pole around the other track, didn't I? When I had it on medium, it's my first Hello pole on hard. Welcome to Le Mans for the fifth round of the MotoGP World... We're going to get into this now. Uh, I'm not going to develop the bike at all because I believe... believe I'm going to be leaving the bike in a few races or maybe even next race. But here we go, I'm on pole position, one for 144.899 and next one is Danny Kent, 145.8 I think that was, so I'm way ahead. But we're going to see what I can do in the race here, with my number 97 San Carlo bike. I don't know if I got off the line well, no I really didn't, Danny Kent's jumped me off the line. Oliveira is alongside me as well, I'm just going to try and try and hold it there with Kent and Oliveira they're gonna take a different line to me through here I'm gonna be able to pull the speed through there oh the bikes just doing endos on me I'm just gonna have to let some of those bikes go I didn't mean to let that many through I, that's how bad my line was into that corner and as, as I braked the bike just tried doing endos on me and I'm down already here goes my flashback very early on in the race. It's not a good start to the race for me. So the pace that I had in qualifying, I've, I'm have i going to have to really show that kind of pace now to catch up. I don't know why into the first, into the second corner, my bike decided to um, endo a few times, even though I was holding back to lean back whilst braking. Hanukkah has gone down the inside of me. I don't have the speed to out drag him. So let's try, let's try and slipstream him and see if I can keep in touch in this cup. I'm going to put my teeth in in a minute. Touching distance. Oh this bike's driving me mad on brakes. I have no uh, no choice but to go straight on in most corners because the brakes are fucking terrible. I'm dropping back. I started on pole by quite a margin and now I'm back to P7. On the first lap of the race, which is not good, that line I took through there was a bit cheeky, but I'm not going to get penalised for it, so why not? But that's a horrible first lap. Three seconds behind the leader already. When I clearly was the fastest guy in qualifying, so that's very, very annoying. Oh my god, and there's nothing I can do about that incident. Got too much curb. The game's put me much further up the f uh, grid than where I was there. Caught way too much curb through that part of the, s the track. And it was a big incident. In real life, that probably put me out of the right. Well, not probably, that would put me out of the race. But this bike is so horrendous, there's nothing I can do here. Every time I touch the brakes, it does that, even if you lean back. This bike is freaking terrible. I need a better bike. I'm not going to be able to win races on this bike. Bit of the doctor's dangle going on there. Let's nudge Binder out wide. Losing ground on sixth place. Wow. Six, let's just say sixth place is completely out of the equation now. Because my bike is horrendously slow. I've come across to try and block Binder. Bit of a naughty move, but I tried it anyway. Bastanini and Masbu come down the inside of me. Bastanini stays in front of me. Oh, 
I try to go down the inside of Bastanini and um, Binder, and I ended up taking them both out because my move was a bit aggressive. But can you really blame me right now to make aggressive moves when I've got pace, which is bemusing me because in qualifying I was really good. So I don't know what the hell is happening. Struggling to keep seventh and in qualifying I absolutely destroyed for first. Freaking bike is terrible! It lacks traction. The brakes are awful. There's no straight line speed. I just got rammed out of the way by Mazbu. Brilliant. And there's just nothing I can do. I'm just falling back into the grid. P7th is the best I can possibly do on this bike. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. I know I can win the race if I had a quicker bike. Because the AI are pretty slow around here. <coughs> but they're making it up on the straights. And this brake, every time I touch the brake, in, the brake into the braking zone, I'm endoing or freaking wheeling. It's really getting on my nerves. Look, look, I'm off again. Another little endo. There's no need for it. I don't know why my bike does it every time I touch the brakes. It's not once, it's every time I touch the brakes. There we go again. A little bit of an endo into that corner. I managed to fight it. And there's another. It's really pissing me off. McPhee come around the outside of me. And I knocked him off. Not like I've got much control of what's happening here. My bike's got a mind of its fucking own. Really pissing me off. 4.4 seconds behind Hanukkah, and there's no way I'm catching him. Let's just settle for f settle for seventh now. I think. Turned a little bit too early through there. Endo in again. So the only way I'm going to make that corner is by go straight there. And I didn't accelerate across the corner, so. It's not like I gained that much of an advantage. I had to gravel trap. Gravel track, sorry. And, um. Yeah, I don't really have much option right now but to go straight because the brakes don't work. The brakes are awful. I really need a better bike. And hopefully then the endo issue will end. This is starting to really get on my nerves. Through here. Accelerate off the corner, don't really have much straight line speed. Let's have a little look behind. There is a bike there, an eighth that's staying close to me. P7 looks like the best I'm gonna be able to possibly do here. Get it right through here. Actually, get it right through here for a change. I am 2.7 seconds behind Hanukkah, so I have caught him a little bit. Not enough to trouble him, I don't think. two laps left when we cross the line in a minute. I'm getting close to Hanukkah. Hopefully I'll be able to put some pressure on him in a minute and make a move. Into the first corner they're very very slow. 142 I think that was the fastest lap of the race I've just done there. Just accelerate through here I'm not gonna not gonna let go of the accelerator. Oh, break. Missed the corner again. That's not for the first time in this race. Bikes brakes are horrendous. They really need to have better brakes. This this bike is absolutely dangerous. The brakes are terrible. Getting very close to Hanukkah now. Closing down P6. Hold it through here. Accelerate, not too much, because you will fall off on this bike. The San Carlo team need to do something to this bike, because it does need to be improved. I'm not improving the engine because with my data pads, because if I do, I'm not improving the brakes, am I? I'm just improving the engine. I need to improve the brakes. Fuck the engine. Slow anyway, yeah. But I need better brakes. I'm not going to have a faster bike with no brakes. 
brakes are horrendous. That time I actually got it just right. A nice acceleration off that chicane. Closing down on him but into the last few corners. A member of a member quite a year, many years ago now, might have been 2005, Seti Gibinau and Valentino Rossi having a little battle into these last few corners. That was rather good to watch. I remember that. Hanukkah is right in front of me now. Turned a tiny bit too early. Oh, oh dear, nearly fell off. Coming into the final lap of the race. Am I going to be able to make a move on Hanukkah? If I do, it's only going to be P6 as possible. Take a different line through here to the AI. I'm hoping the brakes do something this time. They do actually, they actually work. But then I'm not as fast through there because I had to brake a little bit, a little bit earlier than what I wanted to. I'm not far off Hanukkah. I really want to make a move, but right now if I make a move, it's going to be a, a dive bomb. A dive bomb on this bike is terrifying and I'm down. That's just me trying to slow the bike down. That's what happens. I'm just trying to slow the bike down and I've fallen off. I'm either endering or braking so hard that I slip off. And the front gives in. It's just really frustrating right now. And it's happened again! It's happened again! The tyre's gone. I've got no front tyre left. I've got absolutely no front tyre left. I'm going to end up coming, I think, P8 or even lower. There's no front tyre grip left. That's all I can do for here is tiptoe at the moment. I've got no grip left in the front tyre at all. Mazbu's going to go down the inside of me, I reckon. Mazbu has made a move. I'm just going to do a little bit of a uh, shoulder overtake there, a bit of a forceful block pass. Tiny bit early there on the turning. Come off the corner. And unfortunately, it's going to be P7. Started first on the, gr on the grid, but managed to finish seventh. Because the bike was so bloody slow around this circuit. I did the fastest lap of the race, but I lost tyre grip towards the end there and not a lot I could have done. But 7th is going to be the result here. Um, it's, it's pretty annoying. Let's just look at it that way. It's pretty annoying. I'm sick from the championship. Probably going to come no lower than 6th, I'm hoping, because I seem to finish 5th, 6th or 7th most races. Look at the bike into that first corner. Did you see it endoing? I couldn't control that bike at all into that corner. It's just... I don't know what to do to fix that. There's got to be something I can do. Really bloody annoying. But hopefully I'll be able to get onto the... onto the Leopard bike very soon. I've declared interest in wanting to go to that bike, so I hope... I hope it's going to be a possibility because this bike is bloody horrendous. I'm not even going to watch that. But uh, let's just load up the menu and um, see if Leopard want me as a rider yet. Because I told them they're my favourite team. I've showed definitely interest in there. Apparently my guys had a meeting with them over a dinner. So they said just before that race. So I'm hoping... The possibility of that Leopard bike's going to be happening right now. It's going to be a lot better than what I'm currently bloody riding. And maybe I'll be able to go for race wins without horrendous issues like that race. Let's have a look. Lorenzo's winning that gra that championship. And Danny Kent's winning the one I'm in. And Sam Lowe's is winning the other one. What's this? Baton continues, blah, blah, blah. I think a bit of an internet team, right? That's cool. Um, as you know, I'm always looking out for the best contract. Well, give me a bloody contract. I would like a contract. I'm so sick of this stupid bike. I'm so sick of this bike now. But that's going to be the end of this uh, episode. I will be recording another one immediately afterwards. And it will be the Italian Grand Prix. 
Uh, if, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and if you're new around here, subscribe. It's going to go on my YouTube channel, Christian Batten, or the Chucky 101 on the URL. I hope you enjoyed it, and I've been Chris12LFC, and I will see you later.